Hi. Now in this part of the question, we're asked to find the maximum value of 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta and the first positive value of theta that that maximum occurs. Now in the first part of the question, we showed that 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta was identical to 5 cos theta minus 53.1301 and so on degrees. And we can use this fact to find the maximum value. And to do this relies on knowledge really of what this graph would look like. And it's basically based on the graph of cosine theta. Let me just show you. If we drew some axes going for, say from minus 90 degrees to 360 degrees, then the cosine graph, which you should be familiar with, is a wave that is 0 at minus 90, rises to 1 at 0, back down to 90, um, back down to 0 I should say, at 90 degrees, minus 1 at 180, 0 at 270, and up to 1 at 360 degrees. So this is something you should be familiar with, the graph of y equals cos theta. So what we do is we essentially look at this graph first of all. So let's just say we call it f of theta equals cos theta. Now what I want to do is replace any theta with theta minus 53 at odd degrees. So I'm going to look now at f of theta minus, and I'll just write 53 degrees rather than just writing all of that in there. And that gives us the cosine of theta minus 53 degrees. So I've just replaced the theta with theta minus 53. And you should know what this does to any graph. What it does is it takes the graph of f of theta, in this case, and it slides it 53 units to the right. So, in other words, we'll just demonstrate that here. We take this graph and we move it 53 units to the right, 53 degrees in this case. Now the point that's of special importance is this point here on the y-axis. It's going to move 53 degrees to the right. So the curve is going to go across something like this to about there, say. So when it comes to this peak here in the curve, we know that that peak occurs at 53 degrees, basically. Okay. Technically, it's 53.1301 and so on, but we'll just call it 53 degrees. So that's that crucial point there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is multiply this by 5. And if we do 5 times f of theta minus 53 degrees, then what we're going to get is 5 times this, 5 cos of theta minus 53 degrees. And you'll notice that's what we've got here. But multiplying a function by 5, what it does is it stretches the graph by a scale factor of 5 parallel to the y-axis. So points like this one here at 53 degrees one unit now get stretched to 53 degrees across five units up. Points like this one, which is down below the, the uh, theta axis at negative one, get pulled down five units. So this point here is going to go to minus five. So what you get is essentially a graph looking like this. An extended version of the cosine graph. We pull it out. So this point up here is of special interest to us. Okay, Its coordinates are going to be 53 degrees and then its value, its y value is 5. This is going to be pulled out to 5. So you can see from the graph that the maximum value okay, is going to equal 5 and that occurs when theta, the first positive value of theta, has to be this one here at 53 degrees. I mean strictly speaking it's this angle here but it's 53 degrees if we say to the nearest degree. So I hope you've got an idea then of how this works. 
Well that brings us now to the end of this part in the question.